everyone, Bailey here again to tell you about another common tree that's planted around Lincoln. Today we're going to look at an ash tree, and this specifically is a green ash tree. Ash trees are a really important species. They have really hard wood that's good for making a lot of wood products from baseball bats to cabinets. They're a really important species in the ecosystem. All of the native ash trees in North America, however, are threatened by an invasive beetle from Asia called the Emerald Ash Borer, or EAB. You might have heard people talk about that before. And so there's some active efforts here in Lincoln to remove a lot of the ash trees before they get killed by EAB and potentially pose a threat to businesses or homes. Because once the trees are dead, they pose more of a risk. Still a really important tree. Let's look at some of the important features of green ash now, up close. So the bark of most ash trees has some similarities that will always help you to tell it from other tree species. Ash bark generally has these flat top ridges and interlacing furrows. And it's generally going to be a lightish gray to tannish in color, sometimes even having a greenish hue, especially in the case of this species, which is green ash. A really key identifying feature for green ash, and for ash in general, are their leaves. First of all, they are opposite, which means that the leaves emerge directly across from each other on the twig. And in the case of ash trees, they're opposite and compound, meaning that this entire structure right here is a leaf, comprised of typically seven leaflets. So we have one, two, four, five, six, seven leaflets, all a part of the same leaf. In the case of these compound opposite leaves for green ash tree, they're going to have these small teeth along the margin, and they come to a distinct point. A really key identifying feature for green ash are their buds and their leaf scars, or where the leaves used to be last year before they fell off. First, the buds kind of look like a fish with puffer lips, so you can imagine a fish making a little kissy face. They're sort of pointed and brown. And then the leaf scar, this feature just underneath where the buds grow, is semicircular. So it looks like someone took a circle and cut it in half. That's all we have for green ash. These are still growing around the city of Lincoln, although in reduced numbers because again, management efforts are trying to remove ash trees so that they don't die and fall on people's homes. But keep an eye out for green ash the next time you're on a walk in a neighborhood.